Oh, hi. Hey, Ben here again. And um, I just got done working out, returned back to my hotel, and it occurred to me um, that maybe I should start sharing, you know, a few things that I've picked up on the road. You know, now that I've been on the road for approximately almost two months, which, you know, you know, compared to, you know, others that, that have been in this longer, it's probably not that big of a deal. But, you know, um, I have picked up a, a lot of things along the way, uh, living in a hotel you know, every single day and kind of being away from, uh, you know, some of the, uh, the regular things that life, right. You know, back home would provide, you know, uh, some of the comforts, you know, you have to really kind of figure out how to, uh, well, uh, survive in this new kind of existence. And, um, you know, and it's not all bad, you know, not all, not all hotel rooms are going to be the most spectacular place you've ever stayed or the most comfortable and not everything's going to work like internet, <laughs> you know, or uh, AC, uh, you know, and sometimes the accommodations around where you're staying isn't going to be um, that great either. You know, um, I well, where we're at right now in Iowa is actually uh, it's only about 45 minutes away from from where we were originally staying. And it is just night and day, <laughs> you know, uh, there's actually a little bit of society here. So that's pretty cool. So, I'm, you know, if I'm 15, if, if I'm within 15 miles from a Walmart, I'm doing pretty good, I think. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, you actually do kind of find some local shops along the way as well. Places that I I didn't even know existed, you know, uh, have all kinds of really cool stuff that, that I've uh, found are really useful in this hotel existence. So, you know, thought I would give you kind of a, um, some tips, you know, and, and maybe this is something that I'll, I'll kind of do as I figure it out, you know, along the way as well. Um, you know, things that I think could help somebody that's actually getting into this, you know, that maybe doesn't know better. Uh, some of the mistakes I've already found myself making and had to kind of correct, you know, um, well, first off, you know, like I said, I just got back from working out. You are going to be spending a lot of time more than you probably think, um, in this hotel or a hotel, whatever, you know, and, um, you know, so that's a lot of downtime. And even when you're actually out in the field, you know, weather does affect what we do. So there's going to be a lot of time where, you know, we are kind of waiting for weather to pass sitting in a truck, you know, it's not all just climbing and going up and down and, and, uh, going all, you know, hard like that. You know, it's, um, a, a lot of it is kind of, um, you know, being patient and waiting for those opportunities. But when they come and you better be ready. So, you know, that brings me to what I, you know, my first tip <laughs> is, um, take care of yourself, you know, especially some of you older guys, you know, maybe younger guys think you get all figured out and stuff like that. You know, I'm 38 years old, you know, and so I've had, you know, I've been telling myself for, you know, for the past, you know, 10 years or so that, Oh, you know, I need to get back in shape, you know, my, you know, get back to my glory days, stuff like that. I never really, never had the inspiration or the, I mean, you know, I hate to say that health isn't a necessity, but I mean, you, you, I think everybody kind of understands what I mean whenever you, you, it can get away from you, you know, even when you're younger, you know, so, um, but that's because you have the comforts, you know, of, of being at home. You have, you know, uh, people around you that you're familiar with and, you know, uh, foods that you're familiar with and things like that, you know, and so you just kind of become complacent in that lifestyle in this new lifestyle of mine i'm telling you it, i for the first few weeks i man i was i was tired my energy was going down you know uh, i had kind of fallen off some of the things that i even started doing while i was at school which was hiking i think you know if you go back a few of my videos uh you know i was definitely enjoying the landscape over there in vancouver washington that was pretty cool um you know uh i was uh, my roommates and I were actually, uh, I had, uh, started a, a push-up challenge, you know? And so, uh, anytime at any part of the day, you know, uh, we would say, I would, you know, one of us would say 25, you know, and then we just have to drop down and start doing push-ups. And you can ask anybody, if you end up going to the same school, Northwestern Renewable Energy Institute, uh, a couple of the teachers would catch us doing push-ups and stuff, <laughs> you know, right in the middle of the hallways. And they'd be like, what happened here? Did somebody lose a bet? You know, uh, but you know, it was just, it was good fun, kept us healthy, you know, get your heart pumping, get your blood flowing, you know, uh, that's important stuff. And, um, now that I was, now I'm actually out in the field working this job is in this career. Oh 
oh man, those first couple of weeks, I don't know what it was. I, I was just, uh, I was overwhelmed with, you know, I'm actually here. I, I made it and, um, <clears throat> you know, and all this stuff. And I, I was still, I was so focused on trying to figure out the job and, you know, and how to do it and, and all this stuff that I, I kind of, you know, uh, put, put my health and my comfort to the side. And I didn't realize how bad that would be, you know, I mean, I, I had, it was like maybe my second, my second weekend, you know, where I just, I had no energy. I didn't want, I, I didn't want to get up out of bed, you know? And so when it came down, when Monday came rolling around and it's time to go back to work, I'm just like dragging my butt, you know? And, and so I started saying, you know what, if, if I'm going to work out as, as best as I can, I figured out a few, maybe I'll share them here later on too, like uh, some good hotel routines you know, basically kind of doing like hotel, hotel yoga, you know, that's a, that's a thing, I guess. But, uh, you know, planking for like 60 seconds a day, you know, I actually, uh, I read up on it, uh, a cool article. Maybe I'll, I'll put it in the notes or something here, um, that, you know, if you do it, for, you plank for 60 seconds a day and it's actually like a great, uh, ab workout and I feel it. I've been doing that, you know, I've been doing that for now for the past couple of weeks. Um, also, you know, I have been keeping up with the, with the pushups, you know, I do about 25 at a time. I can do more, you know, uh, but I mean, I do about uh, 25, about four times a day, if not more, you know, I'd like to, uh, whenever I was at school, I was doing about 150 pushups a day, uh, with that little routine of ours, you know, we would ask each other, how many sets you done, you know, stuff like that. And it was cool. Um, again, just kind of a fun way to keep, keep, you know, keep things like that. You keep your health up, you know, and, uh, where you're not really thinking about working, you know, and getting, in, getting in front of yourself. Um, so I've been doing that, you know, in the pushups, man, in the morning, that is doing 25 pushups before you have to jet out the door and, you know, get, sit in that truck and, you know, climb up the tower or, or, you know, in my case, you know, get in the basket sometimes, which, you know, when you're battling that wind, man, I'm telling you, you know, you're not just sitting up there, you know, uh, uh, that yeah, it can be kind of stressful, but, uh, you know, pushups are super super important, you know, and I challenge anybody, you know, anybody that's actually watching this and, you know, paying attention to my journey and all this, um, you, you don't realize, you don't realize how important something like this could be in your life. Whenever you're sitting in a hotel room, you know, like today I had an off day, you know, we got, we got actually weathered out. It's been raining and storming and there's lightning within 30 miles of our tower. So we just, it's just not safe, you know? And so, uh, I took advantage of it and I went to the gym, you know, put in, put in some cardio, you know, did some upper body, you know, but I'm still with that. I'm, I'm still doing my push ups every day, you know, um, and a hundred is just a nice solid number, you know, do four sets of 25 throughout the day. You know, you don't have to do it one after the other and tire yourself out, you know, and, but I mean, eventually you find yourself like, can I do five more? Heck yeah. Can I do 10 more? Heck yeah. You know, and, and um, you really kind of surprise yourself. But, I mean, it makes that downtime so much better. You know, like uh, uh, now that I've actually been up, you know, even though we got rained out today, I went and had a full morning. It worked out. Went and got some grocery shopping done. You know, that, and that's another thing that we could talk about. You know, staying healthy. I mean, maybe not, or is it all that stuff? You know, some snacking is okay. But, I mean, like fruit. I bought myself a blender, you know, so I can make some smoothies, you know, um, you know, uh, and, and all this stuff will kind of, you know, go into other tips that I'll share later. Cause I think I'm really going to start, you know, kind of utilizing, uh, this channel to maybe kind of help some people out that are getting into this just so you don't get blindsided by these things, you know, um, uh, just little tips. So health for sure. If you have access when you're on the road, and some of these places are very remote locations. I mean, you're out in the middle of nowhere sometimes, you know, uh, but most small towns have a gym. And, you know, um, don't be afraid of like, uh, 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 of like signs on the door that say contract for a year or something like that. If you just go in there and talk to them and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm actually here. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I'm on, I'm on a job working in wind farms. You know, um, like the place I'm at right now, it's, is $20 a month, you know, which is nothing, you know, um, but on the sign, it does say for, with a year contract. And so I went in there and I was like, you know, I just say, Hey, I'm just honest with them. Like, I'd really like to work out. I like the price, 
you know, can you, can you, uh, uh, maybe meet me in the middle here or something like that. And he was like, you, you were from out of town, you're working on the wind farms. I guess he gets it a lot, you know? And so, uh, he, and he was cool with it. 20 bucks a month, no contract, you know? So whenever I leave, all I got to do is tell him, be like, Hey, I'm done. And he's like, cool. You know? And, um, so that was a really cool find, you know, and I've been utilizing it. It's, it's, uh, it's great to actually like get up and, you know, have something to do, you know, uh, there's a movie theater and stuff like that, but movies kind of suck these days. Huh. You know, we have another conversation about that later, but exercise. Now I am no health nut, you know, I'm definitely not some poster child for working out and raw and all this stuff, you know, but you know, I would maybe like to be, you know, I maybe like to at least, uh, influence some good decisions, you know, instead of sitting on your butt all day long, playing a video game in your hotel room, which, Hey, you know, I mean, I've got, I've got Xbox too, you know, hit me up from a gamer tag. If you want to play something online, hell yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, but, uh, um, it, even that gets old, you know, I mean, if you find yourself just glued to the TV set, you know, you're melting your brain. First off, you can have mashed potato brains in no time. You know, you're, you're not, you're not doing anything good for your body. You know, even if you're young, you know, even if you're in your mid twenties and all that stuff and you, you think you can handle it, you know, just, Take it from an old guy that's kind of always been in okay shape, you know. Uh, I've had a few ups and downs for sure throughout my life, but, um, you know, it's very useful. You got to take care of your body, especially if you're going to be doing something like this. You don't, you know, even though there is some downtime, you want to be ready. When you have to go up that tower, you have to go up that tower. You, uh, sometimes we have little windows of opportunity to to work, you know. And so if you're sitting around and you've been sitting around in your free time, you know, and it's time to go up, you're going to really hurt yourself, you know, or be really tired and you're going to be useless, you know, and then what, you know, what if uh, you're over there like huffing and puffing, you know, and, and it's that hour of opportunity or two hours of opportunity, you know, window weather wise that you had passes by because you can't, you can't actually hack it. So, I mean, you got, you got to be useful for your team, you know, uh, uh, you've got to be valuable and taking care of your body and your mind is definitely super important in these, uh, you know, in, in any situation in life, but especially in a situation like this. So there we go. First tip, first tip of, uh, on the channel, you know, uh, I'm, I'll try to utilize, I'll try to think of some more things, you know, um, I actually I already got a handful of thoughts, you know, so that, uh, things I could share to kind of make this easy for anybody that's actually paying attention, you know, it's still kind of, this is all still kind of new to me and, um, you know, but I'm having a blast. This is such a great thing. I am so happy that I did this for myself. I'm so happy that I went to school. I'm so happy that I, you know, uh, decided to go on this journey. And I'm happy that I'm sharing it with you. Because, you know, anybody, that, uh, just a handful of people that have already reached out to me and said that, hey, man, this is, you know, uh, I, I was kind of on the edge and decided to jump in and do it. You know, I'm very interested in hearing you guys' stories. You know, I'm very interested in possibly even running into you out in the field one day. You know, that'd be kind of cool, but just take it from me right now, you know, um, take care of yourself. It's important. Eat right, exercise, you know, and, uh, I'll have more to share as I come up with it, you know, <laughs> anyway, though, um, you know, I appreciate everybody, uh, watching as always. And, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me, give me a shout out, you know, in the, in the, uh, in the messaging or, uh, you know, just, just let me know, or give me, if you want to hear me talk about something, you know, if you have a specific question that you want me to address in one of these videos, Hey, I'm all about it. So, uh, thank you again, guys. And, uh, you be safe out there.